Hello guys, welcome back to Rally Top Investing and welcome back to another amazing video. Now in today's video, we are going to have a bit of paradigm shift from our core content of smart money concept into the territory of ICT. ICT stands for Inner Circle Trader. So we are going to be discussing about a very powerful and effective strategy propounded by ICT himself and it is called the ICT Silver Bullet Strategy. Now the ICT Silver Bullet Strategy is a very powerful strategy that I've ever come across. Okay? The reason why I'm saying this is that I have backtested on this strategy several times and for a while now I've been using this, strat this strategy very effectively. Now ICT Silver Bullet Strategy is a time-based strategy. It has just one hour window for you to look at. Alright? We have the London window, which is just one hour uh, trading window that we want to look at. But we want to focus into this video on the AM uh, one hour window, which is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York time. All right. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York time. So you don't need to wait or to sit in front of your computer all day long just one hour per day all right just one hour and then you will make uh, an amazing profit in the market that will shock you all right so now the first thing i want to say if you want to use the ict silver bullet strategy is number one you need to change your time zone on your system change the time zone to utc minus four utc minus four is New York uh, time zone, all right? It used to be UTC minus five because of the sun uh, light, uh, sun, sunlight uh, uh, changes. So you have UTC minus four, all right? So that's the first thing you need to do. Now, the second thing you need to do is to go to the trading view indicator session, all right? And search for uh, sessions on charts. That's the indicator. Look for sessions on chart. Once you find that indicator, because it's going to help you, that indicator is going to help you to plot your 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York time uh, time band without you having to bother yourself drawing the lines each uh, time you want to look for uh, or want to use this strategy. All right. So once you find that indicator, what you will need to do is to uncheck every other session like the Asia session. You uncheck it like the Sydney session, you uncheck it, like the London session, you uncheck it because we are going to focus only on the New York session, all right? And therefore, you will just uh, check the New York session, all right? So once you do that, you now go to the timing and now uh, change the timing to 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York time. Once you do that, okay, once you do that, you are going to have this uh, indicator like this on your chart. You are going to have this one on your chart like this. Now, this is the time band. This is the 10 a.m. The start, the start of this time band is 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. All right? So that's the first thing you need. Those are the two things you need to do, first of all. Now, after that, I'm going to give you some rules that you need to follow. All right? The first rule is this. Please take note of this first rule. The first rule is this that you need to identify some form of liquidity in the market prior to the 10 a.m. New York time uh, uh, time window, all right? You need to identify a clear liquidity, all right, on your chart before the 10 a.m. Uh, uh, New York time time window, all right? Now, your uh, a liquidity could be the previous day's high or low, it could be the previous week's high or low. It could be your session's uh, high or low. It could be equal highs or low in the market. All right? I hope you understand just for some form of liquidity. You need to understand that very, very well. Okay. So now, in this case, I'm going to show you this first uh, rule that I have just discussed with you now. Now, take a look at this. This is a high. This is an old high in the market. And this old high is happening before this 10 a.m., uh, New York zone, all right? It has to be before. And now you need to mark out that very high, for instance. And this is my high, okay? And this has to happen on the five minutes time frame, first of all. 
this has to happen on the five minutes time frame i hope you are getting what i'm saying this has to happen on the five minutes time frame first of all now that is the high so we have identified that liquidity here it's an old high so now the second one is to look for the sell side liquidity as well and where is the sell side liquidity well as you can see let's look at here let's uh, take a look at these two lows here take a look at these two lows this is your equal this is your equal low all right is that right yes this is equal low and that is a powerful uh, liquidity and then you stretch out the line to your 11 a.m uh, time uh, zone all right once you do that that's the first rule very simple rule that's the first rule now the second rule is that once you have now identify your uh, liquidity points on on your 5m uh, time frame all right and this must happen before the 10 a.m uh, new york time uh, time band all right once that has happened once you have done that you now have to switch to the 1m you need to go to the 1m and then wait for market structure shift all right and once you have gotten your market structure shift then the next thing you need to wait for is a displacement i'm going to explain all of that now this is the 1m let's look at where uh, we mark uh, uh let's see where did we mark on the one on the 5m time frame where is that point okay so this is the point where we mark on the uh, 5m time frame okay take a look at it now this is uh, where we marked on the one um, new 5m time frame okay this is the high and this is the low and i said the second rule is for you to wait all right for market structure shift and after market structure shift you want to look for a displacement all right a displacement i'm going to uh, explain that to you what we mean by a market structure shift after taking out inducement now in this case it took out the buy side liquidity not the sell side liquidity all right it first took out the buy side liquidity with this candle wick as you can see this was our high on the 5m now on the 1m price has taken out that high all right with the candle wick now your market structure shift all right will be your first pullback after taking out this very high or if it was the sell side liquidity the same thing will happen your first pullback now on the smc strategy i've been telling you that your first pullback all right is key that your first pullback will be your uh, something like uh, inducement or if you like change of character depending on where it played out all right now so your first pullback that's your market structure shift according to uh, ict all right and now where is your market structure shift it is here this is your low this is the first low after price took out this uh, uh, high all right this is the first low and so we are waiting for price all right the ict calls it uh, market structure shift and uh, what do you call it and uh, you want to see the volume in the market coming down to take out this first pullback which ICT calls market structure shift all right it has there must be volume high volume that comes down to take it out and it must be with a candle closure not with a candle wick please take note of that candle closure and as you can see it didn't do that and uh, price continued to soar higher all right so when price went higher all right it printed this high so your uh, market structure shift will be now transferred from that point to this point all right and now price has come down to take out this uh, point here which is supposed to be your market structure shift but like i told you i said it has to be with a candle closure not with a candle wick so this is with a candle wick so it doesn't uh, fit into our rules all right and it cannot hold price so that is invalid now it printed another high for this high it has to take out your uh, market structure shift according to ict okay so this is your market structure shift here okay and as you can see it didn't come to take it out now we continue to follow price okay now price printed another high all right 
and then our market structure shift will be transferred until we have a proper market structure shift and as you can see here we now have a proper market structure shift here look at it look at it here this is your proper market structure shift all right price printed this high and price came down all right and took out all the lows here before going higher all right above this one so this is your market structure shift as price comes came back down it took out this market structure shift with a candle closure can you see that so that is what we are looking for once that happens now the next rule rule number three is that you need to look for your imbalance in the market your imbalance or your fair value gap all right your fair value gap if you haven't watched our video on high probability fair value gap that we posted just some few days ago please go back and watch that video before you come to this one so that you'll be able to understand your high probability fair value gap you don't want to mark every fair value gap that you see on your chart as fair value gap all right if you do that remember we are using the one minute time frame so as our entry if you do that then you are going to be stopped out several times in the market all right so you want to mark out the high probability fair value gap on this uh, within this time frame all right now let me say one more thing here now your setup must happen between this 10 a.m 11 a.m new york time zone it has to happen inside of this uh, uh, time bound all right your setup must happen now your actual taking of the trade can be outside of that 11 a.m but your setup must happen within this time zone i mean this time zone 10 a.m to 11 a.m new york time please take note of that and therefore this is our high probability fair value gap let me show that to you now this is our high probability fair value gap this can do low it's not touching this can do uh, high as you can see it's not touching all right let me see so as you can see it's not touching that can do high so this is a gap in the market it is this gap that we want to take advantage of according to ICT to take trade from there all right remember the setup must happen inside of this your 10 a.m to 11 a.m time ban all right now this is that fair value gap this is high probability fair value gap now i'm sorry i'm not using a replay tool here but i hope you understand what we mean so the next rule is that once you have marked out your fair value gap all right now you need to take trade uh, you need to place a limit order place a limit order now ict says your stop loss should be at least three pips okay but what i want to tell you is that once you take uh, a trade like this let your stop loss be above the high the most recent high here all right or the most recent low i want you to understand that that high that took out the market structure shift with a displacement all right or that low that took out the market structure shift with a displacement is where you should place your st uh, stop loss just slightly above it all right to be on the safe side and therefore we want to place our uh, our limit order here we want to go short so this is our limit order here guys as simple as that and then our uh stop loss slightly above uh, this high okay slightly above that high and then ict says target one to two but now from my back testing and i've developed on this a little more from my back testing the first take profit you will target is one to three once price goes in your favor one to three please move your stop loss to your that's your three percent where you have made uh, uh no sorry move your stop loss to two percent move your stop loss to two percent and let the trade continue to run so that if the if market now reverses against you you have nothing to lose you would have made your two percent uh, profit okay once price moves three one to three move your stop loss to your two percent lock in your two percent and leave the rest of the market to continue running i hope you understand that so these are the rules and now so where is our one to three first of all let's look at one to three here okay so that's your one to three okay so once it is one to three you move your stop loss to one to two lock in your profit from there 
at, at that point. Lock in your profit at that point and leave the rest of the market to run. Okay? That's the way to go. Now, but our ultimate target is one to five. So anytime you find an opportunity to go one to five, please do that because that is our ultimate target. All right? So this is our one to five. This is our one to five. And let's see whether price actually uh, hit our take profit. I don't know. Okay, so this is our one to five. So let's see. As you can see, that one to five was smashed easily. Very powerful strategy was smashed easily. Can you see that? Now, that's the first example. Now, let's get to the next example. We need to go back to the 5M, right? Always remember that you need to go back to the 5M. Let me show you another example on the 5M. Very simple strategy. All you need to do is to follow the rules. Now, this is the first example. Now, the second example is here. I'm not cherry picking. As you can see, I'm just simply following this indicator. All right? Each day, I follow this indicator. All right? I'm not cherry picking. So, now, let's look at the next example here. This is the next day. This is the next day. Now, first of all, mark out the first rule. Is that on your five minutes time frame, now get some form of liquidity and uh, mark out the high, uh, the buy side liquidity and the sell side liquidity. That's the first rule. Now this is the five M. So my liquidity will be here. Let's see. This is it. Okay. This is it. My liquidity. It has to happen before the 10 a.m time band it has to happen before the 10 a.m time band so that's my liquidity in the market and the next one is this let me see uh the next one is this one here take a look this is strong liquidity it took out this liquidity here so we can mark this one actually as our liquidity in the market all right or let's mark out this one this one this one this is look at this it took out the previous candles low all right it swept that liquidity there so you need to look for some form of liquidity i've told you the type of liquidity you should look at all right so once that ha has happened uh no, no 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 let's use this let's use this liquidity let's use this one this is also a very strong liquidity look at it it took out this candles low this previous candles low so let's use that one all right Let's use that and then stretch your line out all right now once you have done that on your five minutes time frame you now to need to switch over to your one minute time frame to look for what like i explained to you on your one minute time frame you want to look for market structure shift with displacement all right where is the one we just marked okay i think this is the one all right market structure shift with displacement that's what you want to see on your one minute time frame all right very simple strategy it's nothing very simple strategy but very powerful all right so let's see what happens here now you still remember this is our high and this is that low that's buy side liquidity sell side liquidity and we want to wait for market structure shift all right i mean we want to wait for price to break out of either a uh, sweep the uh, sell side liquidity or the buy side liquidity please take note of that what you need to do rule two is that on your one minute time frame you want to wait for price to take out either the sell side liquidity or the buy side liquidity all right that's the first thing so now this is it it has taken out the uh, sell side liquidity it didn't take out the buy side liquidity all right it has taken out the sell side liquidity and ICT says after it took out that uh, sell side or buy side liquidity, you now need to see market structure shifts. Market structure shift. Now, in this case, the market structure shift here would have happened here. Take a look. Because this is 
the market structure shift. I've told you to simplify everything. Your market structure shift is simply your first pullback after price took out, uh, has taken out the either the sell side liquidity or the buy side liquidity. All right. So this is your uh, market structure shift. But is this a valid market structure shift? No. I said it has to be with a candle closure. But here it is with a candle wick. So this is not valid. And therefore, we need to look for another uh, market structure shift. Now, before you know it, price printed a new low here. And where is the market structure shift here? Now, our market structure shift can be transferred from here to this point. Okay. And as you can see, it still didn't go to take it out before creating another lower low. All right. And then our market structure shift now will be from will be taken from there, will be transferred from here to this. This is now our new market structure shift. And as you can see, that market structure shift, like I said, has to be with a candle closure. And as you can see, it happened with a candle closure. Look at it with a candle closure. All right. Now, after then, the third rule is this. The third rule is that mark out, identify your fair value gap. Now, what again, I tell you, if you have not listened to our high probability fair value gap, we posted the videos on week, uh, some few days ago. Please go back, go to our place list and you'll find it there. All right. Uh, check on that video first of all before you come to this one. So this is our fair value gap here, our high probability fair value gap. Now, every, see, if you mark here as of there is a gap here, there's a fair value gap here. Look at this low. It's not touching this high. But if you had marked this gap, look at it. Let me let me show that to you so that you know. You don't just begin to mark anything you just see as fair value gap. All right? If you had done that one, look at price didn't respect your fair value gap. All right? It wouldn't have been a proper fair value gap. I want you to understand that. So mark out a high probability fair value gap so that you will not be taken out of the market several times. Now, this is your fair value gap here. This one, the high of this candle is not touching the low of this other candle. Can you see that? So that's your fair value gap in the market. Look at it. This is your fair value gap in the market. All right. And so we want to target that fair value. We want to that fair value gap will become your entry. OK, that's your fair value gap. Now, remember, put your stop loss below the low, slightly below the low of that swing low before this fair value gap. All right. So we want to buy this market here now. We want to buy. We want to buy this market. So here we want to place our limit order to buy this market. All right. Very simple. And remember your stop loss has to be just below this low here. All right. Before this uh, fair value gap, just below that low to be on the safe side. All right. Now, the first thing is that you target one to three. Target one to three. Once price gets to one to three, then you can move your stop loss. You move your stop loss to uh, two percent. Lock in your two percent and let the trade continue to run. So I'm trying to see where we have one to three. Now that is one to three in the market. Okay. So once price gets to this one to three in your favor, now move this your stop loss to one to two and lock in that profit. All right. So that if price reverses on you, you have nothing to lose. Okay. Now that's about that. But the ultimate target is your one to five. Once you have locked in your one to two, all right, let the trade run to one to five. That is our target. Even though uh, ICT says make it one to two, I said make it one to five. All right. Now, so where is one to five here? This is one to five. Don't be greedy. Once it hits your five percent, please close the trade. All right. So this is our five percent. Can you see it hit our take profit or not? Look at it. It hit our take profit and even went uh, higher. All right. So very powerful strategy, simple, but very powerful. I hope you understand. Now, let me see whether I can get one more example to show to you. Now, for that, we have to go back to 5M uh, time frame. All right. It's our 5M time frame. And then we want to look for the next day. As you can see, I'm not cherry picking. I'm only following the indicator. Every day I look at the indicator and I follow it. Now we have done, uh, look at it. Uh, one, where is it? One, two, okay. And this, the third one, I think so. Yes, that's the third one we want to do. 
I don't want to start. Uh, uh, that's the third one. Okay, this is the third one. So let's do this third one and see. Let's see this third one. Um, the video is even too long. I didn't want it to be too long. Now, uh, let's see this third one. Uh, take a look. Your liquidity first. Some form of liquidity, old highs, old lows, equal highs, equal lows, and all that. Now, this is, where's your liquidity here? Here. We take this high, all right? Stretch it out, all right? And then, where is our next uh, low? Uh, as you can see, this took out this candle slow here. So this is a form of liquidity. Just some form of liquidity and you must know what constitutes a liquidity. Now this low is a powerful layer. Uh, it's powerful here. All right? And then you just stretch it out. That's on the 5M. You got to do this on the 5M. All right? Once you have identified your buy side liquidity, your sell side liquidity, then you can now go to your one end and uh, wait for on your one end you want to wait for price to now take out either the buy side liquidity or the sell side liquidity which one is taking first of all that's the first thing you need to do on your one end time frame it has to take out either the sell side or the buy side liquidity okay and in this case as you can see it was the buy side liquidity that was taken out first can you see that? So it took it out. Now, when it took it out, now the next rule is once it has swept this liquidity here, all right, the next thing, according to ICT, is to look for market structure shift, all right, with a displacement. Market structure shift with a displacement. Displacement simply means uh, high volume, all right, coming down or up to uh, 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 create that market structure shift. That's simply what it means, all right? Now, a lot of guys, we want to mark here as our uh, market structure shift, this one or whatever. No, it is not because look at this bearish candle. The low and the high are protected. So that's not your market structure shift. I've told you your market structure shift is your first pullback. So this is not your full first pullback. This is not a, a pullback in the first place. This is an invalid pullback. It's not a pullback. So your pullback, your proper pullback is here, which is where you want to see market structure shift uh, happen here okay this is where we want to see market structure shift happen and remember it has to be with a candle closure as you can see the first candle take it took it out with a week the second one with a week sweep 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 at the end of the day it closed below all right validating this uh, market structure shift as uh, valid all right now rule uh, three after that you need to mark your high probability fair value gap all right now where is our high probability fair value gap take a look at this this is your fair value gap. Your fair value gap is look at this low. The low of this bearish of this bullish candle is not touching the high of this very candle here. Can you see that? So that becomes your uh, fair value gap. All right, that's your fair value gap. And therefore, you want to stretch it out. That fair value gap, you want to stretch it out. All right, and uh, so and. The next uh, rule is place a limit order, all right, with stop loss above this high, okay? With stop loss above that high, and there is our limit order. Oh, sorry, guys. I said wrong there. Limit order to sell this market, right? We want to sell this market. So here is our limit order. Your stop loss above this high. All right, your stop loss above this high, just like that. Okay, that's good, perfect. Now, first of all, you want to target one to three. Where is one to three here? That's the first one you want to target. One to three. Let's see where is one to three. Uh, let's see that clearly. Okay, so this becomes. Okay, so that's your one to three. All right, I told you, I've told you, when price has moved one to three in your favor, move your stop loss and lock in one to two and leave the rest to run. Okay, now ultimate target is one to five. Okay, so we move to one to five. Where is our one to five? 
let's see whether price will get to that one to five. That's your one to five. Let's see whether price uh, got there or not. I don't know. That's your one to five. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay. So as you can see, uh, price. Let's. Okay. Just a minute. One to five. That's our target. Let's see. Move price to this side. Okay. So that's our one to five. And as you can see, is this actually one to five? Let me see. Okay, that's our one to five. And as you can see, price is still coming down. And hopefully, it will touch on our one to five. It, it, will, it will hit our take profit, hopefully. All right? So, this is how the strategy works. And it is a very, very powerful strategy. Now, think about it, guys. If you have a funded account of $100,000 and you are uh, taking profit every single day, 3% profit every single day. Think about it. What will that mean to you in a month? Think about it. So this is a powerful strategy. If you want to use this strategy, let me encourage you to first of all, do a lot of back testing. All right? Master the strategy and please stick to the rules and you will be good to go. All right? So this is where we come to the end of our video, all right, of our, of our video today. Now, but before we go, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please just endeavor to subscribe. Hit the, you know, hit the subscription button and become part of the family and uh, turn on the notification so that anytime we publish a new video like this, you'll be notified about it. And if you are here to join our free Telegram channel, please do so just immediately. I'm going to leave the link in the description, all right? It is completely free and you have loads and loads of uh, valuable materials on our uh, Telegram channel. And if you want to become part of our VIP community, you can do so. You can take advantage of the promo that is running now. We are giving 25% off within the next seven days. If you sign up with us, you have 25% off. I'm going to also leave the link in the description below. And uh, uh, don't forget our... Uh, weekly forex analysis it takes place every saturday by 2 p.m nigerian time you can be part of it all right guys i see you in our next uh, educational video